We are working new details on last night's shooting in a typically quiet neighborhood in Dighton. We first brought you the story as breaking news and eyewitness news at 10 and 11 last night. Investigators swarmed the home on Wheeler Street, and now we're learning more about what triggered the violence. Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke is live in the control room with those details. Abby. According to police, the suspect, Ronald Whitmore, was shot while trying to break into his estranged sister's home by her husband. The homeowner is not currently facing any charges, but this morning, Whitmore was arraigned on several, including breaking and entering and assault with a deadly weapon. Peace and quiet has returned to Wheeler Street after a night full of police activity. It's just very uncommon. It's rare that we see even a police car go by. Dayton is a very quiet community. The quiet shattered by gunfire Thursday night when 46-year-old Ronald Whitmore of Bristol, New Hampshire, allegedly tried to break into his sister's home. Dighton police say his estranged sister was on the phone with 911 when Whitmore used a large rock to smash through the back sliding glass door. Her husband then shot Whitmore in the abdomen. When police arrived, they found Whitmore in the pool in the backyard. He was taken into custody and transported to Rhode Island Hospital for a non-life-threatening gunshot wound. Today in court, Whitmore entered a not guilty plea on all charges, including breaking and entering during the daytime, a felony, reckless operation of a motor vehicle, assault with a dangerous weapon, and destruction of property. The judge ordered Whitmore to be held without bail and to be seen by a psychiatrist and medical staff at the Department of Corrections. Whitmore will be held in the Bristol County House of Corrections until August 11th, which is his next court appearance. Live in the control room, Abby Burke, Eyewitness News.